OMG! The main battery in the heart, the SA node, is not working. So what are we going to do, guys? Well, every plan A always has a plan B. No, not that plan B. We're talking about the AV node here, the backup pacemaker in the heart. This AV node has taken over as the main pacemaker in junctional rhythms. And we call it junctional because it takes over at the AV node, basically the midway or junction between the atriums and ventricles of the electrical system. Now to be all fancy, the medical definition is junctional rhythms occur when the AV node takes over as the main pacemaker of the heart, instead of the SA node. Now this occurs when the SA node slows or when the impulse cannot be conducted through the AV node. Therefore, the AV node automatically discharges an impulse. So what's really going on in the body? Well, as you guys know, the heart has one main pacemaker and two backup pacemakers. In this case, something has happened to the SA node. It has stopped working effectively, so the AV node, our backup pacemaker, our plan B, has taken over as protective measures. But the AV node only conducts at 40 to 60 beats per minute. So what does it look like on an EKG? Well, using our five steps, let's interpret this rhythm. For a junctional escape rhythm, the rate is going to be 40 to 60 beats per minute. Relatively slow here. The rhythm is going to be regular. The P waves are going to be absent, inverted, or buried because, guys, again, the atria are not fully contracting. Remember, the impulse starts in the AV node, so it skips that entire SA node area where the atriums are supposed to contract. And so what happens is the ventricles now are just contracting. Next is our PR interval. There's going to be none because we have no P wave, no atriums contract. And lastly, our QRS should be normal. Now, our two other types of junction rhythms only vary in their rate. We have accelerated junctional with a rate of 60 to 100. And then our super fast one, accelerated junctional tachycardia with a rate over 100 beats per minute. Basically, the atriums are being skipped. They're not squeezing out that oxygen-rich blood out to the body. All of this meaning low cardiac output, basically low oxygen to the body. Now, some causes of junctional rhythms. All have to do with either low oxygen or drugs that slow the heart rate or even inflammation in the heart. So, drugs that slow the heart rate are our B, C, and D drugs. Beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, as well as digoxin. Low oxygen can come from myocardial ischemia. Inflammations in the heart can come from conditions like myocarditis, cardiac surgery, sepsis or infection like Lyme disease and even rheumatic fever. Now our signs and symptoms all stem from this low oxygen, this low cardiac output. So guys, write that down. It's all from this low heart rate. So we'll see classic complaints like subjective feeling like, I feel like I'm gonna faint. Now, for objective signs and symptoms, we use the nifty acronym collapsed. So, C for chest pain, O for oxygen, SpO2 saturation that's lowered, L for lethargy or fatigue, A for anxiety, P for palpitations or basically a racing under the heart that feels like gallops under the chest or that little baby fetus. The S for shortness of breath or dyspnea, known as difficulty breathing, E for extra slow heart rate, but Honestly, it depends on the type of junctional rhythm. And D for dizziness and even diaphoresis, what's known as sweating. So now that we know the signs and symptoms of these low oxygen, what are we going to do about it? So here's some nursing interventions and treatments for our junctional escape rhythms. Just like always, we're going to treat the causes first. Then we're going to discontinue meds that slow the heart rate, like the B, C, and D drugs, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, and digoxin. Now, if that doesn't work, guys, then we'll give atropine to increase that heart rate and even a pacemaker to permanently fix the problem. Now, all those interventions are nice and dandy, but with junctional tachycardia, we kind of do the same thing except atropine. Instead, we want to slow the heart rate. First, by using vagal maneuvers, kind of like the carotid massage or like bearing down like they're going to poop. But then we'll give drugs that slow the heart.